good evening everyone this is anand mule so today this session is all based on how we can reuse the existing browser session in selenium so so the, what are the day to day challenges which we are facing in while automating the selenium or debugging the selenium script in you know in in day to day activity uh, so i mean the may the the challenges which we have facing is like uh, in a script development uh, how we can know fasting our script development or debugging when we have a multiple you know the lengthy flow when we have multiple pages so i personally used uh, facing the challenge i mean not challenges it's time consuming process when you have to you know come to the last page and start new development and or debugging so it's 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 really tedious work to wait till the the page comes and start your script or debug your script so you know that to save some time and uh, you know to you know uh, give the you know uh, smart smartly work in uh, automation so what we have to do we have just come up with some solution then why don't uh, the solution is like how we can you know reuse, uh, reuse the existing session or reuse the existing page which we have left in last run and keep the running keep the test case running on that page or or let's say we, have, we create our own uh, page where we or own session where we, we can reuse the same session and develop the script and just paste the script in our existing framework so that is a total agenda to you know um, use this uh, session uh, selenium uh, the session of the uh, selenium session so the the one solution is we already have given the and the second solution is let like, uh, why don't we you know the use the same session or the the, the host uh, which we have uh, the session is open in the host and pass that host to our chrome so that is a one way solution so how we can uh, we can start with the solution uh, this in practical practically we so that we'll have a you know, better understanding so before you know starting the session and all we have to set up two things first you have to uh, set up you have to you know configure your chrome driver application in set the, this folder path variable in in your system variables like uh, if you go to a system variables one system environment variables and there's a system variables option here in path what you have to do you have to add your up your the chrome driver application path in system variables and you have to click okay and okay in my case i already done so i am not doing this second thing you have to create a chrome profile so actually what we are trying to do we are creating we are opening a chrome browser in debug mode so and uh, for the open debug mode what we have required we have to create we have to pass a folder empty folder where when so to the you know the chrome so whenever the chrome invokes so it will create some you know the folder structure uh, it will copy some folder structure to this newly created folder or let's say it is it set up a new uh, profile for that session so this thing now you have to so what you have to do you have to come to the uh, directory where the folder the folder where your chrome is installed in my case program files google chrome and application come to this path and you have to hit this command like chrome.exe which is in, nothing but an, uh, invoking the chrome and hyphen remote hyphen debugging hyphen port which will open the specific port so in my case i'm opening this uh, 9898 port if in your case you can use any four digit number so that it will open the it will open that port and user uh, data dir is nothing but the uh, the folder which we are creating for the chrome in debugging mode so as soon as you hit this command it will it will invoke a fresh fresh copy of a fresh session of your chrome see it it is opening a fresh session of the chrome so now what you have to do this is a second step so the third step is automation development so but in order to double the automation you we have to pass this session to the chrome driver so that it will connect to this session so this is a little bit manual work here right now you know what you have to do you have to go to your application under test like whichever 
and the page you want to navigate to. Let's say in my case, I am navigating to first name, last name, surname, registration, password. This, this, so my test case would be like you have to come down to the page, this page and start navigation or start creating this test case like first name, last name, mobile number, password. So this is my test case. So what you have to do, just go to the application, uh, go to the clips, system dot set property. This is usual command which we used to have web driver dot dot chrome dot driver and here you have to give the path of your chrome driver char okay so this is this is everyone you know like right? this is the you know just to configure the Chrome driver. Now, what you have to do, you have to create a Chrome options options new Chrome options. Now, what you have to do, nothing but we are just how we are setting up the profiles, like the same way we are you know setting up the profile and passing uh, that session, that uh, existing session to this Chrome option option dot set experimental here what you have to do this is a tricky part just uh, session like we have to give d bugging address so the what was the debugging address here in our case it's local host 9898 right which we has given at the time of invoking this browser right invoking this session so this is session right now open with 9898 port so we'll be passing this 9898 to the chrome driver simple so chrome driver driver Chrome driver and we have overloaded method like options. So what it does, it instead of creating a new session, it is referring to our existing session which is open in 9898 port. Simple. So whenever you are starting the script, it will not create any new session. It is just referring this existing open session and simple. Start your exit. Start your debugging or driver dot find element by dot id dot send case Anna. surname So I just for the river testing purpose, I'm just entering my first name and last name. Okay. Just for reference purpose, I'm refreshing this page. Okay. Just for your reference, I'm parallelly opening these things and executing Java application. That's it. If it is entering first name, last name, it is creating a local session. Now it is, oh, what is the issue? Let me check. Sorry, guys, there is some typo error. It is like not debugging, it's debugger. Okay. Okay, now let's start again. Executing. Let's see it is opening or not see 
it is we got this first name and last name is been has been entered in existing browser so let's try once again let's try something else like test first name last name so i'll be okay so before doing this let me clear clear the field clear for this field as well dot clear so let's try once again one more scenario so it should clear first then test one first name we go so this is how we can you know uh, execute your script or you know start a development and just whatever this whenever the uh, your your script is comfortable with you know the execution and it's passing and you can just copy paste this code to your framework i mean that is how we can you know leverage this type of you know code in your existing browser in your existing framework in order to you know you know the uh, to save some time in debugging or creating a new development so thanks thanks everyone for watching this video